On March 7, 2014, I traveled to Peru alongside two Penn State professors and 20 fellow students. While I was nervous to travel to a country that was so different from home, I was excited about the opportunity to experience a new culture and get a taste of South America. In preparation for the trip, I did some basic research on important sites to visit in Peru, and I also practiced my Spanish skills so that the language barrier would not be too much of a challenge. With the full support of my friends and family, I left the familiarity of Happy Valley and set off on my adventure. One of the most important parts of a culture, in my opinion, is the food. So the first night, I jumped right into some unique Peruvian cookery and ordered the traditional dish of cui, or guinea pig. The Peruvians are extremely proud of their delicious cuisine, and I really enjoyed trying the new foods throughout our stay. Peruvians not only know how to do food, but they know their drinks as well. The most popular drink there was a pisco sour, which was a mix of lemon juice, syrup, egg white, and the native liquor, pisco. It was delicious, I know that we're all going to miss them back here in the States. The mountainous landscapes of Cusco were absolutely breathtaking. I would advise any future visitors to witness as much of the scenery as possible, because views like this don't exist anywhere else. The number of alpaca everywhere was also fascinating. It seemed as though they were as common to the streets of Cusco as squirrels are to the campus at Penn State. Another unique aspect of Peru were the many markets that sold various crafts and handmade scarves. The products in these markets did not have set prices, and it's part of the culture to negotiate the price with the seller. This process could get a bit tiresome, but buying from these markets was a fun way to immerse oneself in the culture. My favorite site by far that we visited was Machu Picchu. Witnessing the Incan ruins atop the beautiful mountains in person was absolutely magnificent, and no picture can truly do it justice. The vast views from the top made you feel incredibly small and gave you a great appreciation for life. There are many different trails that you could hike, and while we did hike a few, I wish I could go back and complete even more of them. In Lima, we had the opportunity to visit the U.S. Embassy where we learned about the two countries' joint efforts in improving the welfare of the Peruvian people. We also learned about possible career paths that would allow us to do similar work in the future. I would definitely consider a career abroad after hearing from the U.S. Ambassadors. We also visited the American Chamber of Commerce where we heard about the efforts towards improving the Peruvian economy. While it is not performing extremely well, the rapid growth of the Peruvian economy in recent years has given professionals and common people alike an optimistic view for the future. Overall, this was an enlightening trip that I know will be a great aid for me in future interviews and jobs. Today, being able to work in international teams is a necessary skill in any business, and this trip provided me with the ability to do so. I am also so thankful for the other students and professors that accompanied me on this trip. These new friends helped create one of the most unforgettable experiences of my life.